Cryptocurrency. They said the Fed said it's not in a rush to adopt a cryptocurrency or a digital currency. Hmm. That means there is a possibility that it will happen. That shit crazy. Because the statement says it's not in a rush, which meaning that that they haven't ruled it out completely. They didn't even rule it out and be like, there's no way it's possible, da da da, and dismiss, and dismiss those chances. They just say, yo. It could happen, bro. Like, it could happen. But I still don't believe in it. You feel me? I don't know why. You feel me? I don't know. Just don't. You know, maybe in the next 50 years or so. Maybe 100. If it happens sooner, I'll be shocked. I'll be shocked. They could use it as an alternative, but what kind of world would that be? I'd love to see it. But good morning. The morning just started and it's a whole lot of drum. You know how that shit go, man. You give a nigga an iPhone, they don't know how to act. Let alone a Tesla. They think they're the new species on Earth. <laughs> I'm an asshole. You feel me? You see the bullshit from a mile away, you know. I gave you a, a brief introduction to my morning, the morning ride. See how I ride, come to work and stuff like that. I really don't count them out much. Usually the bus is not that, I mean, that's not even packed compared to where I'm from, but Usually when I take that bus, it's not really that feel like that. Now, I mean, it's probably one person or two the most, feel me? Well, oh, you know, it could be people always hiding underneath and all that stuff. You know how that shit go. You dig? <laughs> On my way to work right now. Uh, what's the weather like? The weather. The weather. The weather. <laughs> it's weather, man. This shit is bipolar as a motherfucker. It's like. It's a mixture of. Hot was well, it's, it's warm right now because I guess I got too many stuff on, but the outside is kind of like a little chilly but not cold. You feel me? My body is warm, but my fingers is a little cold. That's about it. You know what I mean? You know, in the morning, I fast. In the morning, I just fast. I don't really eat nothing. When I come early in the morning, then after work, that helped me save a lot of money by doing so. You feel me? It do. I've been doing that for a while. Except for Staten Island. When I was in Staten Island, I remember in Staten Island, I used to, because it was a 12-hour shift, so I had to, I was known as a cereal can. I used to buy cereal with milk and everything else like that. Wear it up. Then eventually after a while I stopped doing it. Cause once you become predictable 
I have to understand that people are watching me, so they're watching everything that you like to buy and everything else. And because it's not like you can attack a whole store, you feel me? So they're just trying to really see what product you go to the most and try to poison those products in some kind of way or do some kind of fuck shit to it. Feel me? So I'm like, all right. I gotta, you know, be cautious of what I get and what I grab and everything else like that. Eventually, they always lose because you're running a business. That's why they said this business is never personal because if you run a business and you add in personality to it and everything else and you being personal saying things, you end up losing. So it's going to cost you more in the long run. Feel me? So... Hold on, I gotta take this shit off. <laughs> nah, man. Everybody mad at me for no reason. Not everybody. I generalize things too much. Well, good morning, man. Another day, another dollar. So we be out here on the grind. Nah, man. Mom dudes call me talking about why I don't call her. I'm like, I do call you, man. I ain't gonna call you all the time. But I do be calling her. Baby moms blocked me again. I don't even know what I did this time. Like, I'm just... This is what I gotta go through. Y'all niggas never understand the reason why I act the way I act, bro. She been doing this for years upon years, bro. The kid is only four years, probably four, four, five, four years old now. And you've been blocking me more than a thousand times. And every time your dumb ass gonna unblock me, we talk again, then you block me. I've come to, I came to the realization that she's just trying to hide something. She does that when she's hiding, she's trying to, she's hiding something overall, of course. But she's just using this moment to be like, you, I block you because you don't know how to talk. Blah, 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 blah. But you just, the reason why you feel frustrated because you lied about something or you lying about something, that's why you feel so frustrated. Because it cannot be me. Like, you feel me? It cannot be. Because when I was there and I was seeing him all the time, you was frustrated. You feel me? When I'm not there, you frustrated. I'm not even around you. You're still frustrated. So it's like, yo, you, what are you, what are you hiding and what are you holding from yourself? My mom said my son is, um, could be feeling sick or he's down. Da, da, da. I'm like, right, let me call him. Let me see what's up. <laughs> Going straight to voice me. It didn't even ring. It went straight to voice me. That's when I know. I know by now from experience that she blocked me. So I'm like, all right, bet. I call for my other number. That shit just ring, ring, ring. She ain't pick up. And I don't want to leave a message indicating that it's my other number. You feel me? This, this is what I got to deal with. Every time we have a little bit of a disagreement, she becomes a child. She becomes a child because she don't know how to express herself emotionally. You feel me? She don't know how to express herself. So she becomes a child and she used the best thing possible. Get out of my house. Get out of my car. Or if both of those things she can't use, she going to block you from calling. So she can be like, he does, he's a deadbeat. Use a sorry excuse for a deadbeat father. You don't want me call and check up for your son. And it's like, bitch, you block, like you block niggas. Six, for six months straight, you're going to block me. Then eventually you're going to cool off. Then I get to call again. Or I got to call your mother or call my mother to tell you to unblock me. After six months, then she unblocked me. Then I get to speak to my son for like a week. The next thing I know, she blocked me again for another six months. Then she's, she just want to use an excuse. You feel me? It's just it's the same cycle. The same cycle. And the kid is only four. It's been, it's been like that for four years. Bitch be blocking me for months upon months. Then when I get back home, bum. It's like, it's the same thing. You feel me?
been around the world. It's the same old thing. Yeah, you do. All right. Feel me? It's like I've came to the realization through my life experience that when a woman start acting the same way and start being disruptive and starting to destroy everything else like that, it's just that is a lack of communication on their part or they've done something wrong that they can't communicate with you. You feel me? That's what it is. It's not like I'm saying she cheated on me or anything, but she's hiding something. You feel me? That goes for any kind of woman. It could be your, your, your mother, your aunt, your spouse, your sister, whoever. You feel me? And that's what it is. You dig? Or oh, sometimes it's like, you know, It could be a lot of other things. Look at this nigga, nigga tripping. You driving on the wrong side of the road. What the fuck is going on with this nigga? <laughs> yeah. This nigga tripping. It's tripping. Somebody check that nigga for drugs. <laughs> yeah. That nigga tripping, tripping, yo. Yeah. No, but it's all good, man. I'm not complaining, man. The truth of the matter is, yo, that's why I don't like people judging me from where they see me at. Because I'm like, they're like, oh, you, go take care of your son. Why are you? They're like, yo, I can't, like, I, well, what am I supposed to do? Feel me? I tried over and over and over. What do you want me to do as a man? You feel me? As a man, you know what I mean? Because sometimes they, society make you feel so guilty of saying things that you can't even have control over. We are not together. We just happen to have a kid together. That's the connection right there. When I try to work it out, I was taking a court without even a concern of mine. She ain't, she, ain't, she, she ain't talk to me about taking me to court. She just took me to court. The next thing I know, I'm getting letters saying that I'm in court. I mean, I'm supposed to be in court next week type shit. Deceitfully. You feel me? Now, everything got to go through the court and shit like that. I can't have a conversation with her without catching an attitude. Like, how am I supposed to deal with somebody like that? You feel me? A lot of you, like, niggas, people just always place their situation like, they will judge you from their point of view, and they can never see it from your point of view. Like, how the fuck? You, like, you can't, like, when, when when Kirk Franklin and his son was having those arguments and everything else like that, everybody started taking sides. People were only taking sides from their point of view, you feel me? How you can't get along with your mother or father? What kind of person are you? And I'm like, yo, you got to think beyond that. You don't know what's going on. And everything else. How what kind of pastor speaks like that? I'm like, Yo, you gotta think like you, like y'all niggas gotta expand your thoughts. Like you can't just think from one point of view and be like, he's a pastor. He's not supposed to talk like that to his son. Oh, his son is wrong. Like sometimes you just gotta understand. Look at the whole evidence first before you even speak on certain things. You feel me? And that's what I've come to realize and learn in my own situations. Like you know what I mean? A lot of people judge me. Especially if I go through certain things with this person and this person, and I'm trying to protect my own energy. You feel me? I'm trying to just protect myself because I know for a fact. You feel me? I know I know what I know even when I don't know it. So I'm just trying to protect my own energy and still being far enough and close enough to do the right thing for that boy. You feel me? So it's like, it is what it is, man. I'm not feeling guilty about it. It's just that I just don't want newcomers. You know how you in class and you got a newcomer who comes to class and just got to get used to the crowd? Yeah, this this the newcomers right now. The new listeners and the newcomers, and they come out here with their own judgment. It's like, you nigga, you don't even know the whole story. First thing you want to do is pay attention to what's going on. You feel me?
just don't jump in there brownly and start hating on the men and you don't even know the reason why they hating on you. All you hear was a few things. Oh, he's this, he's that, he's racist, just broad things. He's homophobic, he's, uh, he's racist, he don't like Hispanics, he don't like whites, he don't like... How can one man not like so many people? And how can one man have so much wrong? That shit don't even make sense. Let's make sense of it. Phil, man, even if he speaks from a hateful point of view, he's only speaking from experience. You feel me? Look at how much uh, endowment that man had to go through. You feel me? Look at how much things that man had to endure. And still he keeps the faith and walk in the faith. You feel me? Like, come on, man. How many niggas you know that go through this many bad things and still have a humbleness to themselves? Like, y'all niggas is unrealistic, man. Like, niggas is robots, man. It's funny how robots, we call other people robots and shit like that. I'm like, yo, shit is crazy, man. <laughs> it's crazy. I ain't come out here to talk about that. I just want to make that quick announcement because I did call block i'm like yo bitch i'm in like there's no reason why i should be blocked i'm in a whole nother state <laughs> like you block somebody who is um who has the chance to be close to you it's not like i'm in a whole nother coast like why are you block like the power of blocking is overrated like girls like her is not supposed to have that kind of button like why are you blocking me for like, that shit don't even make sense to me I really don't. Think about it. Think about it, man. Why would you block somebody who has no chance of even having an encounter with you? Like, why are you blocking that individual? You act like I'm calling you. I'm not calling you, man. Get over yourself. Feel me? I know you're going to hear about this and you get mad. Because you don't know how to communicate your emotions. You feel me? And a person like me, I can't be around somebody like you because you suppress my emotions. Because I have to always watch what I got to say around you because you don't know how to take it. Feel me? Which makes me a fake person. You dig? <clears throat> know what I mean? And that goes into something I like to also talk about, about individuals a group of people who just don't know how to handle the truth. Feel me? People just don't know how to handle the truth. Like, they will start so much with you. I don't like how my hat fit. I hate that shit. Anyway, they will start so much with you, but once you start telling them about themselves, they get mad, and now they want to intimidate you and all that. I mean, you know that shit don't work with me, man. I go through too much to have any form of fear. Everybody knows that. <laughs> now I me, mean? like you cannot, you can't, you can't try to play tactics with me and try to make and make me fearful of anybody. Like, come on, man, I go through too much. What is there for me to be fearful of? Especially being through all the things that I've been through. Niggas attacked me when I was when I wasn't even doing nothing. Feel me? Anyway, man. Yeah, I gotta know how to handle you can't handle the truth. That's why I hurt you so much when I speak. Cause he eats your soul. And these niggas try to kill me too. They be trying to do that shit for a while now. Try to call it high blood pressure, heart attacks, and all kinds of stuff. That's why I be very skeptical when I hear people dying of these things. And I be like, hmm. Like, you gotta be, like, I don't trust none of them niggas, bro. Hold on, yo. Let me fix my shit. I got a man. I got a boy. Hello. Yeah, I'm back. 
yeah, you gotta be very, I'd be very skeptical when they should be people just like that Tanzania president died of high blood pressure. I mean, heart attack all of a sudden. <clears throat> it's crazy, man. They're killing people. <sighs> There's a lot of killing going on, bro. They could say it's a car accident that killed this person. We've seen that with Princess Diana, the whole car accident issue. People that's well known, they be like, it's cancer. Some, sometimes it take a while for it to, for the person to die because they can't just be like it was murder. They have to blame it on something else. So blame it on cancer and things, accidents and high blood pressure and everything else justify the killing of that individual. Feel me? And they'll have people in the hospital that work there that they know. They have people in the hospital that work there that they know. It doesn't matter what hospital you go to. They know that person. They have people in every industry or field of things. Even the person driving you over there. And they have people in there just to cover up their lies and shit. You've seen what happened in New York City, man. All those nursing home deaths, which highly questionable, bro. Highly questionable. Because almost 50% of the COVID-19 deaths came from nursing homes, yo. Know what I mean? That shit is crazy. Niggas is worried about... Hold on. Nah, I got ya. Y'all niggas can't fuck with me. Gotta put a new camera. That's like a dick. Anyway. Oh, shit. That's good. Ooh, I, I took, I took, I took, I took, I took, I took the wrong path. <laughs> oh, oh. Well, guess what? We got the grip. Anyway. These particular truck drivers don't like me. I don't have to see their face to know who's who. I know a particular race. Anyway. Look, man. So there's a lot of highly questionable deaths in places where it's supposed to be some form of trust. That trust is already lost a long time ago, you feel me? Sad, but it's true. Sad, but it's true, man. It's unfortunate. So you can't, don't ever trust these people. You feel me? Ever, ever trust these people. And it ain't got nothing to do with white or, white or black. When I say white or black, I'm covering all races in between too. Just don't trust the, don't, just don't trust, don't trust anything. Question everything. For real, for real. Question everything. Shit. Let me show y'all niggas something, bro. Look at that land. Ooh, yeah. I'm talking about far, 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 far. Right, but let's see. That is beyond. See the mountains in the background. See that nigga's shot. Ooh, look at that. Oh, now the camera is doing it justice. You see that? See the mountains? Sheesh. Right, let's bring it back. Bring it back. Bring it back. Bring it back. <laughs> bring it back. Bring it back. You will show any way. Bring them stacks. Another day, another work week. You know, we always, we always gracious to have the opportunity to work and earn some money. Stock market's been up and down. One thing for sure and two things for certain. It's not about it's not about the short term of it, it's the long term investing, feel me? It's big. It's a few long term investing that I'm about to I'm doing right now. I don't wanna touch <laughs> I don't wanna keep dipping in my shit, feel me? So I didn't, I'd be regretting and doing that shit sometimes. I bet you as soon as I touch it, that shit goes up. But truthfully speaking, 
If you leave it in there for a certain period of time, you dig? There's a reason why I do the things that I do. Feel me? But let me give you a word of advice before I get out of here. I really didn't have a topic for y'all. They cannot defeat you without cheating. You feel me? They have to hate. They got to use drugs, alcohol, all kinds of... These niggas is too puny. Too little to even compete with one of you. you feel me? So they have to result in this kind of espionage, propaganda campaign. You feel me? There's no way they can defeat you without doing these things. There's no way they can defeat you without pre-planning and having people in this corner and that corner watching you, spying on you, drugging you, feel me? Trying to poison you. There's no way. So just rejoice, you know what I mean? Rejoice that it takes that much of them to fuck with one of you. And that's just the truth, man. Rejoice in that fact. And that's just a fact in itself. They got to do these things. They have to. Because in their mind, they already know. If a person is doing this in their mind, they already know that you just being you, it's an advantage. Like, nah, I can't fuck with that nigga. I need to cheat. In order for in order for me to have any form of success, feel me. It's like playing baseball sometimes, and I'm a rod, right? And I knew I couldn't hit all them home runs without taking steroids and everything else like that. So damn, like damn, I can't fuck with these niggas. These niggas is hand home runs. They just physically dominate more than me. I gotta take these steroids to, 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 to make sure that I, I can compete with them. I have to take the supplements because I can't naturally get these things on my own. The way I'm physically built right now. So the only way I can win or even compete with these people is by cheating, is by hating, is by being jealous, envious. I gotta spy, I gotta be malice, I gotta be evil. Feel me? These are all the things that they have to do just the equivalent in some form or fashion to you. So you can't even be mad and be like, I don't look at it like why are these niggas hating on me and everything. I'll be like, damn, this I feel I feel like I feel I, I gain strength thinking of it from that point of view. I'll be like, look at the shit that they gotta do. They gotta use cameras, they gotta use people, they gotta use resource. You feel me? They gotta tap your phone. They got to constantly watch you from a.m. to p.m. If they took one second off you, they know they will lose. So I've, I have a lot of strength when I think of it from that point of view. I gain my passion in hands, my purpose in hands more. And I'm like, yeah, I must be that much powerful because look at the things that they're doing against me. And I'm only one person. And look at how many of them they are. You feel me? Even if you contribute in little, you're still part of them because you're helping the cost of it. You feel me? So you got to think of it in that point of view. If you ever go through something like that where you have more than one person hating on you, you're like, damn, it's taking two of y'all to just hate on one for me? That's your strength right there. That's where you draw your strength from. You're like, ah. Ah. <laughs> you're like, Yes. Feel me? You cannot look down upon yourself. They're already looking down on you. They're already hating on you. You don't need to be helping these niggas out hate on you more. <clears throat> feel me? You be like, damn, these niggas got to make you drowsy. You feel me? Just to compete with me. Draw your strength from it. You feel me? They don't even want you to be inspired by anybody. Then they get jealous of it. It could be a bird flying up, and I could be like, yo, that bird just inspired me. They're going to try to find that bird and kill that bird. Feel me? That's your strength right there. you that powerful. Because they're just jealous of everything. They got to use these tools. They don't have nothing else but to use these 
diminished, degrading, rusted, rusting tools. You feel me? Because these things don't do nothing but just melt away themselves. Like, that's just basically that. That's the best way I can put it. Evaporate. It makes them vanish with every act that they take. They evaporate. You feel me? Anyway, man. I'm about to go in. Time is in. I'm about to go in. I don't really I don't really be doing research to speak to y'all on any other topic. I'm gonna go walk around and come back in this way. You feel me? Looks like the long recording, the long recording. Hey, hey, chill, chill. So don't be looking at me like that, man. You don't want no problems. I know niggas is mad because you put the recording up. So I expect them to be planning something for me. Because <laughs> they're so weak and sensitive. It's all about image. Always all about imagery. You feel me? They don't want to look weak in front of people. Every time, even if I tell somebody, yo, I need totes, <laughs> I need work right now. They bad because you sell it to one of them, so they go try everything in their power just to get, just to gain that momentum back. That's weakness, man. I got to get it together. I'm just saying, I got to point it out for what it is. Feel me? Don't get mad at me. I just got to carry his brain, and I speak my mind unapologetically without even apologizing for it because I don't feel like I'm wrong. I'm not in the wrong for saying these things. I'm actually quite right. Feel me? We don't even look at people no more because if you look at somebody, they looking at each and every turn of my eyeball to see who I'm looking at the most so they can hate on that individual without me even having a word with that individual. That's jealousy. You feel me? I mean, think about it. You looking at every sight scene that I look at. If I turn my head this way, you looking at it. You, you, they just zooming in to see where you looking. And I can take a look all fine. I'll be like, damn, this person look fine. But I didn't even say it out loud. But it's just that the way my eyes is lust over this individual, preferably a girl, of course. Not even preferably, only, um, uh, not preferably means this optional. Only girls, of course. <laughs> then they get jealous. And they might hit on this individual. If it was a boy and I compliment that person, be like, yo, you're doing a great job and everything else like that. And that doesn't fit their narrative, that person get attacked. You feel me? It's just jealousy, man. It's just jealousy. That's all it is. It couldn't be nothing more than that. <laughs> Watch this nigga pass by with aggression. What? What I told you? A few cars passed by. It wasn't even that. He always got to pass by with aggression. Shit crazy. <laughs> like, man, what are you mad about? You feel me? It is what it is, man. I can go to one store from another and they just hate on it. Be like, mm, another jealousy. It's a lot of jealousy. A car can pass by and I'm like, damn, surely that. Jealousy. They just jealous. <laughs> like, god damn, nigga. <laughs> like, that shit crazy. A person can just be driving a nice car. I'm like, yeah, that's my car right there. And hey, they're going to be jealous. Like, damn. Like, it's crazy, man. It's a dangerous game to play. But they're just jealous, man. That's all it is. And niggas is just jealous. They have no reason to do what the things that they're doing. So they just, every little thing is what they're attaching themselves to. Because there's no reason and no purpose for it. And they never had an excuse a long time ago. So now... I mean, it's been going on for a while. So now they're just looking for anything that they can attach themselves to. 
so they can keep the ignorance going. You feel me? And they try to diminish you with small things like homosexuals and try to degrade you in so many ways as if your masculinity is tied to what others do to you or your butthole or some other wild gay shit that the thought of it is gay not the act of it you feel me and that's just the truth man we thinking out here like we ain't on that bullshit i mean you can't you can't guilt trip me it's impossible to guilt trip me. I have to be ignorant for to allow such a thing to happen in my world. <laughs> Feel me? They're just jealous, man. They're jealous of me. They're jealous of you. That's all. My baby mom's is jealous of me, too. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> She is jealous of me. Every time I call, she want to compete with me. It's just, she just happened to be sent by them outsiders, and she she stayed. It be like that. But I'm about to be out of here, man. I'm in the facility. You know what I mean? It's a faculty. I holler at you.